From Neo to John Wick, viewers just can't stop hitting pause in analyzing frame after frame of Keanu Reeves' movies. There are too many unforgettable moments to count throughout his career, but these are the ones that truly stand out above the rest. While the famous proverb states, Hell hath no fury like a woman's scorn, it may have to be updated to say, Hell hath no fury like John Wick after you kill his puppy. When we meet this former hitman, he's living a quiet life of retirement while grieving his late wife. But after the bloody assault on his new beloved pet, he understandably desires revenge. So he smashes open his basement floor in order to access the secret cache of weapons he's buried beneath his home, thus irrevocably plunging him back into the world of assassins. This particular scene is frequently paused by fans because it makes you wonder, what exactly is Wick going to do with that sledgehammer that he just happened to have lying around? This moment also shows the grief and desire for vengeance that consumes him, along with the fact that the dog was a present from his wife, whose death left him completely shattered. The sledgehammer is the viewer's cue that this seemingly slow-to-anger guy is about to go ballistic. The full weight of everything Wick has been going through – loss, sadness, the need for retribution – makes this clip among the most pause-worthy of Reeves' entire career. Who can resist soaking it all in when someone demonstrates how lethal a pencil can be? In John Wick Chapter 2, the immediate aftermath of his takedown of a couple of assassins in a coffee bar gets us so hyped up that we simply must rewind and repeatedly digest Reeves' awesomeness. After a multi-million dollar bounty is taken out on Wick, he's forced to fight off a posse of killers who step up to claim the booty by closing the open contract on his life. In this game of Assassin, pretty much everyone is willing to take a shot for that much money, no matter how well-respected the target is. Wick is able to fend off his attackers by eliminating them with a simple pencil, proving a writing device can indeed be mightier than a sword. He once killed three men in a bar. A pencil. I know, I've heard the story. Sir. Fans of the Wick franchise might want to take a break at this moment to drink in the full scope of the impressive display of violence that's just been unleashed. Not only does Wick end two men after he's been wounded, he adds to his own lore about how he killed three men in a bar with a pencil. Witnessing him actually perform this feat confirms that he's a badass capable of turning just about any seemingly innocuous object into a deadly weapon. The image of him holding the bloody pencil after doing the deed sums up the emotions we experience while watching it. Things get even dicier for John Wick in his third film. When he finds the Elder, who's essentially the leader of the Underworld, he's given a choice – die immediately or pledge loyalty to the High Table. He chooses the latter option, so he then removes his finger and gives his wedding ring to the Elder as a show of fealty. This is easily one of the coolest scenes. It demonstrates how Wick's desire for a peaceful life is often forced to take a back seat to the seemingly endless obligations incurred by his history of Underworld violence. So why is this scene worth pausing? It's all about the graphic intensity and the artistic culmination of so many plot elements. Wick's commitment to honoring the memory of his wife, his efforts to get out of the underworld lifestyle, and the respect he holds for his allies at the Continental all unite at this moment. His severing of his own finger reminds us that he is a man of focus, commitment, and sheer will. Accepting disfigurement certainly proves just how far he's willing to go. The scene in The Matrix in which Neo ducks backwards to avoid gunfire is definitely iconic. It's the first image that immediately springs to mind when you say the phrase, dodging bullets. As Neo and Trinity attempt to rescue Morpheus, they're ambushed by agents on a rooftop. Agent Jones takes over a nearby body and begins the style of weaving and bobbing around the bullets that has become synonymous with the Matrix franchise. When Jones fires back, Neo bends over backwards to avoid death with Reeves delivering arguably the most famous moment of his career. It also represents a huge leap forward in cinematic visual effects. There are so many reasons to grab the remote and study this scene frame by frame over and over again. There's the sight of the bullets flying across the screen over Reeves' body, the way his arms flail in the air as he bends backwards, and the bullet barely grazing his leg. This moment also sets us on the path to believe that Neo is indeed the Chosen One who will destroy the Matrix and free the people once and for all. In The Force Awakens, when Kylo Ren froze Poe Dameron's laser with the Force, many fans were triumphantly drawn back into the world of Star Wars. But that wasn't the first time that a main character showcased this ability in a major sci-fi action flick, as Keanu Reeves fans are well aware. Neo had already performed this same feat 12 years earlier in The Matrix Reloaded. Before this unforgettable sequence happens, 
Neo and company are headed to the Merovingian in order to rescue the Keymaker who can get them access to the source of the Matrix. After some hijinks involving the Merovingian's wife, Neo manages to rescue the Keymaker, only for the Merovingian to then corner him. Once some henchmen open fire on Neo, he calmly puts his hand up and brings the bullets to a standstill, thereby providing us with one of the most unforgettable images in the entire series of films. This moment is worth pausing not only because of Neo's freezing ability, but also because of how effortlessly he does it. When the henchmen open fire on him, he puts one hand out and brings the bullets to a standstill, all while maintaining the same calm demeanor that he typically wears within the Matrix. His laid-back attitude in the face of death has a huge effect not just on the audience, but also the Merovingian. Upon witnessing this display, he remarks, Okay, you have some skill. The image of Neo preparing to face down Agent Smith one final time in The Matrix Revolutions unquestionably belongs on anybody's short list of Keanu Reeves' most paused moments. After finally making it to the Machine City, Neo encounters the Machine's leader, Deus Ex Machina. He's able to broker a deal in which he stops Agent Smith from taking over the Matrix and the physical world, while the Machine leader spares the free human city of Zion. The leader agrees, and then Neo is inserted into the Matrix to begin his duel with Agent Smith. After Smith goes on a monologue about how the purpose of life is that it should end, Neo gets up and strikes that famous pose. Although this is hardly the first time that Neo has taken this stance, it rises above all the others thanks to the sheer swagger that he displays. Despite the long odds that he faces, he chooses to stand up when Smith knocks him down and confidently beckons at him as if to say, Come at me, bro. Neo's willpower, determination, and refusal to stay down are what make this moment profoundly special. Can you feel it, Mr. Anderson? Keanu Reeves has starred in his fair share of comedies, but no scene in his career has provided more laughs than the one in Always Be My Maybe. When he comes waltzing into a high-class restaurant in slow motion while AWOL Nation's Sale plays. In this scene, Randall Parks Marcus and Vivian Bangs Jenny have gone to meet Ali Wong's Sasha and her mystery boyfriend at the restaurant. After the three get settled, Sasha's boyfriend arrives fashionably late, and it's dramatically revealed that she is in fact dating Keanu Reeves, who is of course played by Reeves himself. While Reeves' screen time in this movie amounts to a mere 14 minutes, he makes the most of it. He takes all of the hyperbole that's been said about him over the years and pokes as much fun at the audience as he does it himself. As he arrives in slow motion, both Marcus and Jenny's mouths fall wide open, which works as a parody of people who put Reeves on a pedestal. By having him play into the assumptions that people have about him, he lures the audience into laughing at themselves. 1989's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure was Reeves' first real blockbuster and the scene in which the two title metalheads discover the existence of time travel remains one of the most memorable moments of his entire career. Reeves' Ted and Alex Winter's Bill are working on a high school history project that will determine whether or not they pass their class. And although they don't know it yet, it will also decide whether their band will become the basis for a future utopian civilization while they sit outside a Circle K convenience store working on their assignment. A strange man named Rufus arrives from the future to ensure that Bill and Ted succeed in their mission. His appearance is soon followed by Bill and Ted from the future. And then hilarity ensues. The look on Ted's face as he attempts to comprehend the strange things unfurling in front of him is why this sequence makes it onto our list. His exaggerated ignorance adds to the farcical nature of this scene by playing into many of the stereotypes about dumb high schoolers, including the number 69 always being on their minds. Even though this movie was released more than 30 years ago, this scene has managed to retain its most excellent entertainment value by appealing to teenagers of subsequent generations who are still alive and kicking. Oh, and Ted, give my love to the princesses. Who? You'll see. Few Keanu Reeves scenes are lingered upon more than the one in Speed, in which he hurls himself from a car onto a bus while both vehicles are barreling along at over 50 miles per hour. Reeves plays LAPD bomb defusal specialist Jack Travern, who must deal with a man who's threatening to blow up a bus full of people unless he's paid $3.7 million. Jack and his partner Harry race to catch up to the bus and stop the extortionist before it's too late. Once they catch this speeding vehicle, Jack makes the decision to join the bus riders, thus providing us with an all-time classic action sequence. 
Jack jumping into a moving bus ranks among Reeves' most paused clips because of the shock factor, as well as the bravado that he displays. The wow element in Jack's fearlessness in a moment of crisis gets our hearts racing and set the tone for what remains to come in one of the best action movies of the 90s. Keanu Reeves taking a stroll through hell in 2005's Constantine, like it's no big deal, makes for a surreal and totally pause-worthy moment. When a woman named Isabel Dotson utters Constantine's name before jumping off a tall building, her twin sister Angela goes to Constantine to figure out why Isabel killed herself. Constantine then decides that the best course of action is for him to transport himself to hell to find the answers that Angela seeks. The image of Constantine walking among demons in hell makes for one of the coolest Keanu Reeves moments because the cinematography is simply amazing. From the howling winds blowing fire to the general post-apocalyptic atmosphere, the setting alone makes for an incredible moment. Then the demon zombies giving chase to Constantine as he tries to recover a medical tag really hammer in the gravity of the danger that he's in. It all combines for a moment that you'll want to slow down just to soak everything in. Jesus. <coughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite actors are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.